This Python tip is going to show how we can find the frequency of values that appear in a Python list without the need for using any loops, any iterations. Let's consider this Python list and you can see we have within the list a number of numbers and these are the temperatures taken every hour within a greenhouse across a 24 hour period and this is the name bound to that list of temperatures. The functionality I wish to achieve is to count how many times each of the temperatures occurs. So let's take the 25 for example. We can see that it appears 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 26, well we could count how many times that appears. Now that suggests to me that I would need an algorithm that would have some kind of iteration. And as we iterated over the list, I would be incrementing a counter for every time 25 appeared or every time 26 appeared and so on. However, I'm aware that there is a module in Python that will enable me to do this much more readily. And let's have a look at what that module is. I'm showing it here. It is the collections module. And you can see that I'm saying from collections import counter. And we're going to see what this will give us. To show a way that doesn't need the use of an iteration across the list, let's have a look at the following two lines of program code. This line is responsible for finding out how many times 25 appears in the list, how many times 26 appears in the list, in fact how many times all of the different numbers in the list appear. And let's discuss this. If we consider this line and look here, what's happening is we're creating an instance of the counter class. And this instance will take in here the hourly underscore temperatures in other words, the list that was created on this line. What this will do is to create us a data structure, and that data structure will be bound to this name. And all I'm doing on this line is printing out what that data structure is. So let's run the program and see what we get. We get this here. Now this is the output, and it is telling us the output is of this type, a data type that doesn't actually belong to the normal kind of Python data types, such as lists, such as dictionaries, and so on. What it actually is, is a data type that's been defined in collections. But if we take a close look at this data type, we can see within it, we have a dictionary. Now we know what a dictionary is from the previous work we've been doing in the playlists on this YouTube channel. But a dictionary will contain the following items. This is an entry in the dictionary. This is, and this is. This is the key, and this key happens to be one of the temperatures that appears in this list. And what follows it is 14. And if you were to go to that list and count how many times 26 appeared, you would find that it would appear 14 times. This is another entry in the dictionary. And you can see this is the key here. And that key is referring to one of the temperatures that you can see appears in the list. And of course, we've already counted those at the beginning of this video, and we found out that there were five and in fact you can see there's five and if we go to the other temperature that appears in the list 27 we can see there are five occurrences of that so what we've got here albeit in a different data structure is the frequencies with which the various temperatures appear now the finding of all of those frequencies for the various temperatures that appeared in the list was done on one line, which is this line here. And there's not an iteration in sight. So we can see we have a very simple way of looking at a list and finding out how often the items of that list appear. For the temperature of 26, it appears 14 times, for example. Of course, I can, with other Python statements, work on this dictionary data structure to find out things like which is the temperature that occurs most often and display that. And I'll show that in the next Python tip in this playlist on Python tips and tricks. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.